Welcome to the EWTN Religious Catalog. This program features Mother Angelica with some of her favorite holy reminders. Good books, rosaries, beautiful art, statues, and crucifixes, all designed to enrich our spiritual lives. There are also many other special items for your consideration. To order, call our toll-free number 24 hours a day at 1-800-854-6316 or visit www.ewtnreligiouscatalog.com. We accept Visa, MasterCard, American Express, and Discover. We also accept money orders and personal checks in U.S. dollars. And now here is Mother Angelica. Well, welcome to our religious catalog show. I'm sorry my asthma is not too good, but we're family and those things don't bother us, do they? Now, don't forget that this is a service and, and don't, let, uh, don't let it, you know, replace your contribution. Huh? The feast day of Our Lady of Fatima is May 13th. And this is a, a great feast for all of us. So we want to focus this week on not only the love of our Heavenly Mother, but most of all, uh, your mother. That's important. Don't forget your mother. I know sometimes you have a lot of problems, but don't forget your mother. First we have Our Lady of Fatima statue. I think this is a very, very beautiful statue, and she has just a tiny smile on her face, which is kind of unusual in statues. If you haven't heard about Fatima, you need to inquire, and I'm sure we can help you with that. She is the one that gave us a good idea of today's world. I want you to have something of Our Lady of Fatima because of all the visions and visionaries we have and have had since that time, I think this is the one who clarifies uh, today's world. She, she warned us it would happen like this. And so we need to look at it. Now, the second thing we have here <coughs> It's a statue. It's Our Lady of Fatima. Of course, it's only 15 inches, comes with the prayer card. But just to have her in the house is a reminder that this world is so different than what it used to be. We're saying, is it better? Is it worse? Well, I don't know. But I know the faith is not what it used to be. Now, what it used to be. And that's what we need to worry about, is the faith. And I, I want you to th examine yourself once in a while and say, do I believe? And if I do believe, do I practice? Is what I believe a part of my daily life? That's what we need to go. Now, we also have here a, ah, this is a wonderful if you never heard of Fatima and you don't know anything about Fatima, this is going to tell you the whole thing. It's a video. And see, here are the children. It shows that. I've, I've seen this at least three times because it's so real. But it got happened. It's not a story. The angel of Portugal appeared to three shepherds, which means every country had its own angel. I wish ours would shake us up. Anyway... This is a wonderful, very important video for you to see a couple of times in your children and your grandchildren. Recreates the time and circumstances of Our Lady's appearances and how stubborn the people were. But not all the people. Some of them heard the message, repented, and became wonderful Christians and Catholics. It's 90 minutes running time. You know, when I walked in the studio this morning to do this show, I thought, goodness, we're selling yellow pages. 
<laughs> but we're not. This is the, f the documents on Fatima and the memoirs of Sister Lucia. Here we go. I mean, this is a lot of document. If you don't know about Fatima or you doubt it, I would get this book. That we doubt too much. We doubt everything. We doubt everything. This is a documentary and a historical update. Now it starts in 1917. It tells you all about these three children, what they said, what they what happened. Now we also have here, written by Scott Hahn. He's a very very good uh, writer, and it's called Hail Holy Queen. Do you remember? Some of you used to say the Hail Holy Queen after the rosary. And um, Mother, and this explains, explains the Mother of God and her importance in the Christian faith. Some of you just kind of like throw her off. No, it is a remarkable presentation, this book is, of the biblical texts on Mary. If you have a question, and you're not joining the church because of her, which I can't imagine, but it happens. I would get this book. You need to know where is Mary in the scriptures, in the story of King David's monarchy, which speaks of a privileged place for the mother of the king. Well, if the mother of a king had a special place on the throne, well, what about Jesus? It talks about her magical conception, her perpetual virginity, assumption, coronation. This is a must book. Why? Because I'm sad to say that some Catholics don't know anything about Our Lady. Now, this is a Theotokos. The Theotokos is a catechism on Mary. It's called Mother, Woman, Mother, and Disciple. And this is a catechesis on Mary, Mother of God, by Pope John Paul II. He tells us about the vocation, grace, and humanity of the Mother of God. The very, very, very wonderful catechism. Explains Mary in the light of Vatican II. Shows her scripture basis for it. Easy, easy to understand. So, if you have a problem with Our Lady, and I hope you don't, I would get these two books. I guarantee your problems will be solved by the time you get through. Well, it's almost time for Doug to come along and, and give you a, a, an idea and show you pictures and tell you, how much is this going to cost? And he'll tell you how to order it if this is your first time. And after that, we'll be back. We'll have a little chit-chat and give you some idea of why we do this. Thanks, Mother. But first, here's Barbara with some new items for our consideration. Throughout history, many of the saints have held the Blessed Mother in very high esteem and have instructed us to do the same. In his prayer, which is sometimes called the Prayer to Our Lady of Mercy, St. Augustine of Hippo reveals Our Lady's role in the salvation of the world. Blessed Virgin Mary, who can worthily repay you with praise and thanks for having rescued a fallen world by your generous consent? Receive our gratitude and by your prayers obtain the pardon of our sins. Take our prayers into the sanctuary of heaven and enable them to make our peace with God. Holy Mary, help the miserable, strengthen the discouraged, comfort the sorrowful, pray for your people, plead for the clergy, intercede for all women consecrated to God. May all who venerate you feel now your help and protection. Be ready to help us when we pray and bring back to us the answers to our prayers. Make it your continual concern 
to pray for the people of God, for you were blessed by God and were made worthy to bear the Redeemer of the world who lives and reigns forever. Mary's faithfulness, her yes to God, enabled Jesus to be born into the world, but that is not the extent of her care for us. As adopted brothers and sisters of Christ, Mary is also our mother. She wants us to be happy when we join her in heaven and is ready to help us with any impediment to that reunion if we will just ask for her assistance. Today, we have several holy reminders to help us bring Mary's care and compassion to the forefront of our minds and hearts each day. First, we have an image called Our Lady Undoer of Knots. I love this. Originally painted during the 1700s by an unknown artist, this image of Our Lady has become increasingly popular in recent years. Illuminated by the light of the Holy Spirit, Mary patiently receives a jumbled tangle of knots from an angel. These knots represent the problems we create for ourselves as a result of our sins. Our Blessed Mother crushes the serpent's head underfoot as she patiently unravels these knots. The angel on her other side takes the now smooth cord from her and looks out at us, pleading with us to see the work Mary does in our lives. The image is displayed in a gold wood frame under glass and measures 13 inches by 20 inches. This Mary Undoer of Knots Novena will fit perfectly in your purse or pocket to remind you of Mary's presence and work in your life. When we create a tangled mess out of our lives, our Blessed Mother waits for us to turn to her. And when we do, like a mother who untangles her child's shoelaces, she patiently unties each knot as she intercedes to Jesus on our behalf. We also have several other pocket-sized prayer books dedicated to Our Lady. Each pretty booklet is embellished with artwork from the world-renowned Fratelli Benella of Milan, Italy, and has 24 pages. This is the Immaculate Conception Novena. When Mary appeared to St. Bernadette Subaru, she identified herself as the Immaculate Conception. The pamphlet contains the Prayer of the Immaculate Conception, a Novena, the Litany of the Blessed Virgin Mary, and other prayers. Our Lady appeared to St. Bernadette 18 times between February and July of 1858. The beautiful Lady St. Bernadette saw became known throughout the world as Our Lady of Lourdes. This Our Lady of Lourdes Novena booklet tells the story of St. Bernadette and Our Lady of Lourdes. It contains a litany, novena, and other prayers to Our Lady under this title. Next is the novena to Our Lady of the Miraculous Medal. The Blessed Mother designed the Miraculous Medal herself and gave it to St. Catherine Labore to spread throughout the world. This little booklet contains St. Catherine's Prayer to God, the story of the Miraculous Medal, the Novena to Our Lady of the Miraculous Medal, and more. We also have this Our Lady of Fatima Novena and Prayers devotional booklet. It honors Mary's appearances to three children in Portugal beginning in 1917. The booklet includes a brief synopsis of these appearances, as well as a hymn to Our Lady of Fatima and other prayers. St. Louis de Montfort is well known for his devotion to our Blessed Mother. During his life, he preached fervently against the heresies of Jansenism, a theological system that, among other things, 
denied free will, and claimed that Jesus died for the predestined, not for everyone. St. Louis spoke out so adamantly against this system that he was often forced out of places where he was preaching and several attempts were made on his life. Whenever and wherever he spoke, St. Louis educated the people about the importance of Mary in the lives of the faithful. The legacy of his sermons was preserved in written form after his death. His treatise on true devotion to the Blessed Mary is presented in the book called St. Louis de Montfort's Consecration to Mary. It contains all of the readings recommended by St. Louis in a single, easy to follow book, as well as some of St. Louis's other works, such as The Secrets of Mary, The Secret of the Rosary, Love of the Eternal Wisdom, and Letter to Friends of the Cross. We also have The Secret of the Rosary by itself. In this little book, St. Louis de Montfort warns against those who regard the rosary as something of little importance. He writes, the rosary is a priceless treasure which is inspired by God. Many of us know how important it is to pray the rosary, but sometimes it helps us to pray along with someone else. Here we have a CD called Mother of Mercy, a Rosary of Healing CD. Father Kevin Scallon leads us in prayer and meditation, and Donna sings, By his wounds I have been healed. He has set the captives free. My eyes now see my Savior's love for me. This CD follows the traditional 15 mysteries with special prayers and meditations. It comes on one disc. Next, we have several rosaries. The first two are particularly nice for ladies. First is a gold-plated pearl rosary. It features a miraculous metal centerpiece and an ornate crucifix. Each of the pearl beads is double-capped and measures eight millimeters. This lavender glass bead rosary combines a lavender enameled crucifix and center with seven millimeter pale lavender pearl glass beads. The color is soft, pretty, and a favorite of mine. These next rosaries are very special and especially nice for men. Each is made of cube-shaped cocoa wood beads with a sterling silver sacred heart center and crucifix. The Our Father beads are carved with an attractive rose pattern. It is available in three colors. This is the black bead rosary. We also have it in brown beads and maroon beads. Next we have two pretty images of Our Lady. First is this beautiful Our Lady of Grace framed print. This classic image shows Our Blessed Mother compassionately looking down toward Earth. It is displayed here in an antique gold ornate resin frame that measures 18 and a half inches by 22 and a half inches. We also have this mystical rose framed artwork. The mystical rose, one of Our Lady's traditional titles, reflects Mary's perfect love for God. The rose symbolizes love and purity. The Blessed Mother is the, quote, rose without thorns. Displayed in a gold wood frame, this picture measures nine and a half inches by 11 and a half inches. And now here's Doug to tell you how to order any of these reminders dedicated to Our Lady. Thanks, Barbara. Now here's a look at the items that Mother has spoken about on this program. Now the first of our holy reminders is the Our Lady of Fatima statue, item number OJ110, priced at $72, measuring 17 inches. It's the Our Lady of Fatima statue that Mother showed us. There's also the Our Lady of Fatima statue that measures 15 inches in height. This one is imported from Portugal, pictured on your screen, priced at $55 
Its item number is 28015, Our Lady of Fatima statue. In that same vein, we have Apparitions at Fatima. This is the DVD, priced at $20, as seen on EWTN, HDAAF is the item number. Runs about 90 minutes, Apparitions at Fatima on DVD. Next, we have the documents on Fatima and the memoirs of Sister Lucia, priced at $25, item number 9889, includes over 250 historical pictures, documents on Fatima and the memoirs of Sister Lucia. Next up is Hail Holy Queen by Dr. Scott Hahn, priced at $14, item number is 16924. Hail Holy Queen. And closing things up for Mother Angelica is Theotokos, a catechesis on Mary by the late great Pope John Paul II, priced at $14. Item number is 4019 for Theotokos, a catechesis on Mary. Now moving on to the items that Barbara spoke about on this program. First up from Barbara was the Our Lady, Undoer of Knots, framed artwork originally painted during the 1700s. This is priced at $80. It's item number 285. And that's Our Lady, Undoer of Knots, framed artwork. The original was painted during the 1700s. Next up, we have Mary, Undoer of Knots. This is the Novena, priced at only $4. Item number 8905, pocket-sized. Mary, Undoer of Knots, Novena. Next, we have the Immaculate Conception Novena. Priced at $2.50, item number 43201, 24 pages, Immaculate Conception Novena. Or if you'd like, we have Our Lady of Lourdes Novena as well, priced at $2.50, item number is 43215, Our Lady of Lourdes Novena. In that same vein, we have the Novena to Our Lady of the Miraculous Medal, priced at $2.50, 43211 is its item number. 24 pages in length, the Novena to Our Lady of the Miraculous Medal. Next, we have Our Lady of Fatima Novena and Prayers, priced at $2.50. Item number 43216, Our Lady of Fatima Novena and Prayers. Next is the St. Louis de Montfort's Consecration to Mary. This is a classic, a paperback edition, $18. Item number is 6713. St. Louis de Montfort's Consecration to Mary. Likewise, his other classic, The Secret of the Rosary, priced at $5. Item number 106 for The Secret of the Rosary. Moving ahead, we have the Mother of Mercy, a Rosary of Healing CD, featuring Dana and Father Kevin Scallon. It's priced at $17. Item number is DS108, again featuring Dana. It's the Mother of Mercy, a Rosary of Healing on CD. Next up, we have the gold-plated Pearl Rosary, priced at $39. Item number is 451H for the gold-plated Pearl Rosary. There's also a Lavender Glass Bead Rosary for your consideration as well. It's priced at $38. Item number is 229RF for the Lavender Glass Bead Rosary. Next up, we have some Cube Cocoa Bead Rosaries. The first is a black one, priced at $78. Item number is 192BK for black. This is the Black Cube Cocoa Bead Rosary. There is also a Brown Cube Cocoa Bead Rosary, also priced at $78. Item number for this one is 192BN, and that's for brown. We also have one in maroon, 192MR for the maroon cube cocoa bead rosary, each individually priced at $78, one in black or one in brown or one in maroon. Next up, we have Our Lady of Grace framed print priced at $70. Item number is 86003, Our Lady of Grace framed print. 18 and a half inches by 22 and a half inches. And closing things out for Barbara is the Mystical Rose framed artwork she showed us, priced at $22. Picture measures nine and a half inches by 11 and a half inches. Item number is 45060 for the Mystical Rose framed artwork. So if you'd like to order any of these items, just give us a call 24 hours a day at our toll free number, which is 1 800 854 6316, or just go to our website, www ewtnreligiouscatalog.com to see all of the items featured on this program and the many other items featured on our website. 
and you can order using Visa, MasterCard, Discover, and or American Express. And now with some closing thoughts and comments, here is our own Mother Angelica. Well, I hope you're thinking now of which one are you going to get? You know, I, I told you we would explain why we're here. We're here just so you get to know Jesus better. You get to know the faith better. You learn more about the faith. And once you learn about the faith and what Jesus has done for you and Our Lady also, you're going to be happier. Your problems may not all be solved because part of them is our purification. But the important thing is that you begin to live your life with a lighter load because he takes part of it away and he helps you carry it. So this show will repeat this week and, and he'll call your friends and relatives and say, hey, they got some beautiful things. Bye-bye now. God bless you.